Wall Street shrugged off the nation's worst economic output reading since the third quarter of 2001, despite the fact that it could indicate the economy is in a recession. The Commerce Department reported gross domestic product, the measure of all goods and services produced within the U.S., fell at a three-tenths of one percent annual rate from July through September. That really shows a dramatic behavior change. Obviously, the credit crunch is stressing uh, consumer finances, but also it seems as if people are, uh, to some degree, proactively uh, uh, cutting back on what they spend. Cautious optimism and generally calm trading followed a mixed finish Wednesday after the Fed's decision to lower its Fed funds rate by a half a point to one percent. The Dow Jones Industrial Average finished the day up about 190 points to 9,181. Broader indicators also rose, with the S&P 500 up 24 to 954, and the Nasdaq finished up 42 points to 1,699. Well, I think the day ended up because investors and traders are basically feeling that maybe Monday's closing low on the S&P 500 of 848, at least in the near term, might be some sort of a bottom. And getting the feeling that we had a, a good uh, rate cut from the Fed, the possibility of a further rate cut uh, later this year, also getting better than expected GDP numbers. Uh. Today's trading was relatively calm, given the enormous back and forth moves of recent days, but uncertainty likely will continue as some mutual fund investors shift their portfolios ahead of the end of the fiscal year. Mark Hamrick, The Associated Press.